Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Last week, I did a video demonstrating how you could create an animated GIF in Photoshop from a series of still images. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have a link to it in the description below this video. In that video, I mentioned that I'll do another video demonstrating how you could take a short video clip and create an animated GIF from it using Photoshop. That's what we're going to be doing today. On my desktop, I have this short video clip of a dinosaur running. I actually downloaded this from a free um, video stock footage site. I'll have a link to it in the description below this video. I have no affiliation with uh, the website I downloaded this from. It's called Pixabay. I just Googled free B-roll and I found this website and I thought this would be a fun image or a fun video to make an animated GIF from. So we're going to open Photoshop and what we need to do is load the video into Photoshop. To do that, go up to File, down to Import, and then we want to go to Video Frames to Layers. Then navigate to wherever your video is on your system. It happens to be on my desktop right there. And we're going to click Open. And as soon as you do that, it will come up with this little Import Videos to Layers dialog box. From this dialog box, you could choose the part of the video you want to use for your GIF. Now, in this case, it's a very short video, so I'm going to use the entire thing. And you could preview what you have by clicking the little play button right there. So if I want to cut some frames out, I could use these little, like, um, like I don't know, bookends to uh, limit the amount of frames in my video. Now, you may have to do this if your video is very long. If your video is too long, Photoshop won't be able to load it as frames and you'll need to take a section of it and you would do that here. Now in this case, as I mentioned, I'm going to use the entire video. So I'm just going to click, I'm gonna to go to from beginning to end and I'm gonna click OK. And what it will do is it will take the video and it will load it as layers in Photoshop. So you could see all the different uh, frames of the video are loaded as layers in Photoshop. I'm going to make this a little bigger by hitting Command Plus on my Mac. It's Control Plus on a PC twice. All right, so we have the video loaded into Photoshop. Now what we need to do is put the timeline along the bottom. To do that, go to Windows and down to, or Window, I should say, and then down to Timeline. And now we have the timeline at the bottom, and you can see that it automatically put all those frames in the timeline. You may remember in the last video when we created that animated GIF from still images, we had to populate the timeline with the images. You don't have to do that with um, when you're using or trying to convert a video into an animated GIF. All right, so we have the video here. We'll go down over here to the controls on the lower left hand side and hit play. Mainly we want to make sure that it's playing in the correct direction, meaning forward. You may remember in our last video, uh, when I did that, our video was running backwards. So I had to fix that. If your video is running backwards, you need to go over to the far right on this little flyout menu and go to reverse frames. In this case, I don't have to do that. Everything is good. Now, one thing I'll bring up, there's other controls here. There's this little loop control. You can see it's set to forever. That's the way I like to have it set. You could have it just loop once, three times, or other. As I mentioned, I like to have it loop forever down in the timeline so I could get a look at what I'm dealing with. All right, so now we just need to save it as an animated GIF. To do that, go up to File, Export, and then down to Save for Web Legacy. And then this uh, kind of confusing and intimidating dialog box will pop up, but you really only have to uh, concern yourself with three different settings. First of all, use a preset. Go to the preset. Go all the way to the top, GIF 128 dithered. And then once you do that, it's going to give you a spinning circle for a couple seconds as it loads that preset. Then what you want to do is change the colors from 128 to 256. Then the third setting that you should concern yourself with is looping options. I like, as I mentioned, it's set to forever. You could change it to once or other, so you could put how many times you want it to loop. I like my animated GIFs to loop forever. Also, if you want to change the size, uh, the image size, you could do that here as well. Um, I'm gonna use the full size uh, for this. And 
you could then preview it by going over here on the far left and click the preview button. And what it will do is it will open up this GIF in your default web browser so you could take a look at it. And you could see that's what my animated GIF is going to look like. Now we'll just go down and we're going to save it. So we'll click the save button and it's going to ask you where and to give it a name. And I'm just going to call it dino.gif and I'm going to save it to the desktop. So these settings, images only, default settings, we're all set. Click save. It may take a second to save. Um, once it does, now we're done with Photoshop, but you could save this project if you'd like to. Uh, just go up to file, down to save as, and you'll want to save the project as a PSD file. Um, I'm not going to save it. I have no need to save it. You could see how easy it was to create this GIF from a, a video. So we'll minimize it. So I have my original video right here. It's an MP4 video, but here is my GIF. It's called dino.gif. Now, like the other video, if you just click on it, uh, you won't be able to view it. It's just going to show you the frames in your image viewer. You need a web browser to view an animated GIF. So you need to, in my case with my Mac, right click on it, go down to open with, and I'm gonna open it with Google Chrome. And you'll see there is our animated GIF playing in our web browser. Very easy to create an animated GIF from a video in Photoshop. Again, I'll have in the description below this video a link to that uh, video I did last week where I created the animated GIF from a series of still images. You could check that out if you haven't. Also, as I mentioned, I got this um, video for free from some website uh, called Pixabay. No affiliation with them, but I'll have a link to that in the description below this video as well. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.